All right, you guys, so we got new information involving Super Dragon Ball Heroes. At some point, we're going to see Goku fight against Ios. A new trailer has came out showcasing them standing off. Within that trailer, we also seen something different. I'm going to get into that later on in this video. So let's go ahead and get right into this right after this intro. This video's coming shout out go to turn up fred who says keep grinding bro i'm proud of you 300k on the way now if you want to be shouted out in the next video all you have to do is watch this video to the very end of course leaving a like and being subscribed to the channel but most importantly leaving a nice comment for me to read now the first thing i'm gonna do is play this trailer i'm taking off the sound just in case of copyright reasons Okay, first thing right off the bat, we see Goku. He is in the center of the building. If you remember the hooded warrior who makes glass just like Lags, he must be from the same tribe. She was explaining the rules to Vegeta and Hit in the promotional anime, and she said that the team that steals this little cute fairy Millie from us and reports back to Lady Ios, by the way, resides in the selection room at the center of this dimension, which looks like the time nest. He plays Xenoverse 2, Xenoverse 1, then you know what I'm talking about. So in this trailer, that's exactly where Goku is. He has, I don't know, somehow secured that fairy maybe and was able to actually reach her. As you can tell by his eyes, it looks like he is an Ultra Instinct Omen. But as soon as he gets into his battle stance, she does some type of time maneuver, I'm guessing. Which, I'm telling by Goku's expression, he didn't see it coming. Now I do want to go ahead and say right now I don't have translations for this trailer right now at this time. I might do a video later when I get translations for this particular trailer. The scenes then switch over to two individuals walking past each other. One of them looks like it is the Mengra and the other one seems to be the old Demon King. The one before few. I can never really get his name right. But before they pass each other we see somebody put their hand up. I'm assuming it's the Mengra. And after he does that, all the time gears seem to be falling. It's like that whole little reality is breaking apart. And everybody is feeling this. It starts off with jeering, Hit, Gohan, Yamcha. Everybody's feeling what's going on. Piccolo included. It's like the whole world goes dark. You can see lightning and everything. And those two individuals, the Mengra and the old Demon King, walk past each other. But the old Demon King falls down to the ground. Shortly after that, we see the Mingra, he begins to hold his hand up and this like fiery like substance come out of his hand. Now from a previous trailer, I don't know if I can find it, but Ios did the same thing, but her fire like substance was blue. The confusing thing about this is she's the former Supreme Kai Time. The Mingra, he's just a, a former demon. That's why I really need translations to this. So I'm gonna try to see if I can wait for them before I publish this video. But if not, I'll just make another video. Okay, so I was waiting on DBS Chronicles to come out with his translations, but so I went ahead and tried to translate it myself, and this is what I came up with. The first part of the trailer is saying special news report. Right after it shows Lady Ios, it says the predecessor of the world king god. I'm pretty sure my translations for this is a little bit wonky, but it's addressing her as their predecessor. She is the former Supreme Cobb Time. Then it goes on to say that the true power is released. This is when Goku gets into fighting stance and Ios does some type of time technique. The text seemed to read the world of the king of time. Notice it says king, not queen because Ios is a woman. 
this is where it shows the Mangra pretty much seemingly killing the old Demon King. The text then go on to read saying newly expanded. I don't know if they're talking about territory, but it seems to look like the Mangra has taken over the old Demon King's place or position. This is when everybody feels some sort of huge power after the old Demon King has perished. I'm guessing that would be Domingra's true power. Last text says a new dark will open the curtain. So it looks like the big bad is really going to be Domingra or maybe that's for the next arc. But no this arc just started so I think it's going to shift over into him as well. Y'all let me know what y'all think in the comment section below about this. Something is definitely stirring when it comes to this whole dark demon realm type of activity. Gotta remember doing back the Big Bang mission arc or where Goku Black was wreaking havoc in the fake universe. It was the Mingra who let out hearts. And that same very person, the Mingra, he let out Cell as well. Cell is still a loose and hearts is there as well. Nobody knows what Cell is. What happened to Cell? So there's a lot to think about. In other Dragon Ball news, a couple of days ago, we got leaks for Dragon Ball Super Manga Chapter number 86. The chapter don't come out until the 20th, and we got these leaks fairly early. We have the full summary for it as well, but I'm not going to read that. I want to read it with fresh eyes when the chapter actually drops. But I have seen the leaks, and I'm going to go ahead and show them to you guys as well. It looks like Granola is back in action. We're going to see him back in this chapter seems that as Goku is fighting this newly powered up gas, there's a blast that actually hits Goku and it happens to be Granola. Elect seeing this offers Granola a job back if he kills the Saiyans. Granola tells Goku that he has a plan on how to defeat gas and he just need him to buy some time. And while gas seems to be having these big arms, he seems to be using his energy to manipulate his own body. He's really tearing himself up. He's most likely going to die. It kind of seems like the same thing that Moro did to himself in the last previous arc. Even Vegeta gets involved. It seems that Vegeta headbutts Gas. Gas, he's not paying any mind to this. He's trying to get Granola. While Goku is passed out on the ground, this is when we see a giant Susano. Yes, Goku has brought this back from the previous arc. A big version of himself made out of key is coming out of the ground. And he uses this to actually capture Gas with two hands then takes gas and throws him out of the planet. And according to some translations, it looks like Granola's having problems trying to focus himself on gas because his eye was messed up. Remember, gas has seriously damaged his eyes. But thanks to oatmeal, he was able to go ahead and auto lock onto the target and actually successfully land a blow on gas. I've heard some other things in the fandom that it seems that Granola doesn't want revenge on anybody anymore. And I can see why a lot of people will be upset because Elect killed his mom. How would you not want revenge for somebody killing your own mother? But let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, and turn on those post notifications. That way you can be reminded every time I upload a new video. And I'll see you guys on the next one.